Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at this problem where we need to put these four numbers in descending order. And just to make it interesting, I've made all the bases and all the powers prime numbers. Pause the video, give it a go, and then I'll show you how it's done. OK, let's begin. First, let's start by comparing the first two numbers, a and b. Now, if I start with b, which is 3 to the power of 29, and then I square this, and then take the square root of it all, this has no overall effect, since squaring and then taking the square root cancel each other out. Alternatively, you can think of the two powers, 2 and a half, being multiplied together as per this rule. And that just gives 1, which again has no overall effect. Now again, according to this rule, if we have a number raised to a power and that's raised to another power, we can swap those powers around. So let's do that down here. So this equals 3. Let's put the 2 there now. So that's 3 squared to the power of 29. And now I'm going to multiply this by the other power, which is a half. Again, this is in accordance with this rule. So this becomes 3 squared is 9 to the power of a half of 29, which is 14 and a half. Now I went through that slowly so that it was easy to understand. Because in this problem, I'm going to be carrying out those operations a lot. OK, let's do that one more time. 3 to the power of 29. But this time, I'm going to raise it to the power of 3. And then raise it to the power of 1 third. And this is fine, providing that these two powers multiply to give you 1. So again, we can rearrange. So we get 3 to the power of 3, all raised to the power of 29 times 1 third, which equals 27 to the power of 9 and 2 thirds. So all of these are equivalent. 3 to the 29 equals 9 to the 14 and a half equals 27 to the 9 and 2 thirds. It also equals, and this time I'm not going to write it down, but I'm going to raise this to the power of 4 and then raise it to the power of a quarter. So following the same rules as below, we get 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. And we get a quarter of 29, which is a 7 and a quarter. OK, so why have I done this? Well, if we now bring 79 to the power of 7 across to here, and we compare these two, the base of A is lower than the base of B, and the power of A is also lower than the power of B. And if they're both lower, then A must be smaller than B. Now, if we look at C, we can do a similar thing. If we cube this, then take the cube root, that's the same as cubing 2, which is 8, and multiplying 41 by a third which is 13 and 2 thirds. And once again, as the base and the power of C are less than B, then C must also be less than B. Now let's consider D. If we square this and then take the square root, this is the same as squaring 5, which is 25, and halving 17, which is 8 and a half. And once again, both the base 
and the power are less than b. So once again, d is less than b. And now, since we proved that a, c and d are all less than b, we can say that b is the largest. Now let's compare a and c. And to do this, I'm going to take 2 to the 41, raise it to the power of 6, and then take the sixth root, which gives us 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. And we then take a sixth of 41, which is 6 and 5 sixths. This shows that both the base and the power are less than a's base and power. Therefore, c is less than a. And finally, I'm going to compare c and d. And to do this, I'm going to take c, raise it to the power of 7, and take the seventh root. So, 2 to the power of 7 is 128. And the seventh of 41 is 5 and 6 sevenths. I'm then going to take d, cube it, and take the third root, which gives us 125. And 17 divided by 5 is 3 and 2 fifths. Again, both the base and power of d is less than c, therefore d is less than c. And from this we conclude that a is second largest, c is third largest, and d is the smallest. And that's our answer. Hope you found that interesting. Did you find a quicker way of doing it? If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it for this video. Please join me again tomorrow when I'll have another exciting question.